welcome to another video. Now in this video, what I'm gonna try and do is recreate a photo that I took yesterday and I was really pleased how it came out. And I'll put this, the, uh, the photo on the screen right now so you can see what I took. And I'm gonna go back to the exact same location and see if we can get uh, a similar shot and I'll explain how I managed to uh, capture this image. So we need a couple of things to work in our favor. We need uh, clear skies like we had yesterday and it looks like we have lucked out there. But most importantly, we need no footprints. Um, as you can see from the image, we had some beautiful clean, clean snow yesterday. So I'm hoping when we get there, uh, no one's walked through the composition. Uh, it's a little bit off the trail, so I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful. But we'll have to see when we get there. Well, we got lucky. Here are my tracks from yesterday. This is exactly where I set up. And there's my composition there. And there's no footprints, so that's great. So I'm here pretty early. It's probably another half an hour before the sun breaks over the horizon, over my shoulder. But um, I didn't want to miss it. I, was, I really liked the photo yesterday. So let me uh, explain a couple of things about uh, this photograph. And uh, then when, when we get closer, I'll go through the settings in order to get that really cool starburst. So the sun's gonna come up about there, right through the trees. And it creates a beautiful shadow on two or three of these tall trees coming this way, as you can see from the image yesterday. And that's what first, that's really what drew me to the, uh, the composition. But the other thing that, that adds to this image is this broken tree on the, on the right hand side. Where are we? Over here. And the way it's sort of like praying to the sun, you know, it's uh, it just added a, an extra element of interest to the image. We obviously have the leading lines with the shadows, which, which we'll see uh, as soon as the sun comes up. Um, and they were pointing directly towards the sun. I really tried to get in the middle so they would converge right towards where the sun is, which is going to be right about there. And um, uh, that was that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple image. I tried to find somewhere where there were no footprints, some clean snow. I did remove a couple of small distractions from the final image yesterday. And um, I'll go through my post-processing uh, at the end of this video. And you can see what the settings were in Lightroom. But it wasn't much, it didn't, it didn't need much editing. But it's a beautiful morning in my local woods. We got about a foot of snow a couple of days ago. And uh, it's beautiful. So now we wait, probably got about 20 minutes or so. So I'll just share a couple of cold weather photography tips with you that I've picked up. Um, first is, and most importantly probably is battery life. When it's cold, you, your batteries die a lot faster. Uh, so what I do is I carry extra batteries and uh, especially if I'm on a long um, photography shoot 
and I keep them close to my body. I don't keep them in the camera bag. And so I try and keep them as warm as possible. So right now I've got a couple in my, in my jeans pocket here. Second thing is when I get home, I don't take the camera out of the bag straight away. Uh, I've heard that if you do, and the camera warms up too quickly, you can get condensation on the elements. I, uh, I don't know if that's an issue these days with weatherproofing, but I don't take a chance. So I leave the camera inside the bag where the air is still cold, and I let the camera bag sort of warm up slowly. Apparently that, uh, that's, um, that, prevents, that prevents that issue. I've got my camera set up here. I just uh, got my 72. No, I don't have my 70. I have my 16 to 35 wide angle lens on. And um, all set, just waiting for the sun to come up. The sun is just starting to hit the treetops, so it won't be long now. Beautiful. It's so nice to be outside where it's quiet and still and just, uh, just gorgeous. Okay, so there we go. There's our shadows made by the trees. So, a couple of important things about the settings. So I really want to get that sun star. And the best way to do that, or the only way to do that, is to uh, make sure you have the f-stop number really pretty high. I've got mine at f-16. Um, that means it's a really narrow aperture. It creates that really cool sun star effect. If you have anything too low, F8, if F11, the sun just gets, it's too wide open and there's just too much light and you don't get that nice sun, uh, sun star shape uh, that really adds a lot to this image. If you find that, you know, it's a little bit trial and error really, uh, I tell you to take a few shots. What I find sometimes is if you move, and have the sun just sort of half blocked by a tree or something, that can that can help with the uh, the sun star shape as well. So I pretty much got the composition kind of set up. I'm going to move a little bit to the left, so I have the uh, the shadows right in the uh, uh, right going right towards the sun. So I'll just do that really quickly. Okay, there we go. So I've got my composition set up. We're at f16. 1 13th of a second, I'm at 24 millimeters. We'll take this shot, see what it looks like. Two second timer. And we've got a quite a nice sun star. The sky's blown out, but I don't really care about that. And I wanted the horizon uh, about a third the way down. So most of the emphasis is on the shadows at the bottom. I'm gonna try one more by just moving a little, my camera a little bit to the left. So I just moved my camera just a fraction the left and we get a lovely sun star okay hands are getting cold so I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up and we will take this image back into Lightroom and do a few minor adjustments we're in Lightroom and I want to keep this part of the video really pretty short. Um, I've got my four images here that I took this morning and I've got my image uh, number five here on the right hand side in red. That's the one I took yesterday that's been fully edited. So let's take a quick look at these four images from today. Um, they all look pretty good. Uh, there's image one, image two, you can see I've got a nice sun star in both those first two. Image three, which I like quite a lot. 
and image four. So I think the best sun star is probably in competition, it's probably number four. It's between number four and number one. I do like the separation of the trees here in number one, but I'm not quite centered. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna edit number four, I think, is the one I like the best. So we go up to the develop module. And the first thing I usually do with a uh, Sunstar, especially one this, this big and bright, is I usually take the highlights down and it sort of creates a more of a pinpoint effect there. And my usual workflow is I tend to increase the shadows a little bit, bring out some more detail in the shadows there, increase the whites and decrease the blacks a little bit, maybe quite a lot in actual fact in this one. And I might just take down the exposure. Watch what happens when I take down the exposure here. It just creates, kind of adds a little bit of contrast. And I, I do like that. I might move the contrast slider a little bit. I sort of play around and see which, which effects I like and which I don't. Mm, contrast didn't really do an awful lot. Um, I want to add a little bit of vibrance and saturation to the scene. And I, with this sort of shot, I you can see with my um, image from yesterday, I had that nice sort of magenta tone to the image, and I, I do like that. Um, so I'm going to add a little bit of that to this image here by going down to the, uh, the highlight wheel, which is this bottom right-hand one here. And if I move it down a little bit and move across, you can see it's starting to add a little bit of magenta to the to the, uh, the scene. Maybe do some midtones as well. It might be a little bit too much there, but you can kind of get the idea. I do quite like that. Uh, that sort of color to the image. Um, looking at it, it's I don't think it's as strong as image as yesterday's. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna decrease the clarity. It has this little bit of softness to the snow, just about there. And I think it looks pretty good. Quite happy with that edit. I could fine tune it a bit more. Maybe remove one or two of these distractions. There's, there's a, a leaf there. In fact. I think we'll do that. We'll go up to the um, uh, the, the Band-Aid tool here, the cloning tool, and we'll just take this out of here and the shadow. Don't forget the shadow as well. Let's see what kind of job that does. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. There's a couple of other distractions too that I might remove. Here we go. There's one here. We'll do that one too. And we'll do the shadow as well. See what that does. Yeah, not bad. Not. Mm. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave it. Um, so that's basically my my sort of workflow for an image like this. The most important part was uh, reducing the uh, reducing the highlights. Um, in fact, I might even take down the exposure just a tad more, perhaps. Maybe there. <laughs> Here we go. It's getting getting to be longer than I was hoping for, but you get the idea. Um, we have quite a nice, quite a nice image with uh, a beautiful sun star and these lovely shadows. Uh, so that was today's image there, and yesterday's one was there, which you can see how much the snow has melted. Um, which I, uh, there's more snow on the trees too. So those were the conditions, but today's was, today's was pretty good as well. It's a little bit different. Maybe increase the highlights. Here we go. I'm just kind of, there we go. Maybe that's, some, that's some, something, something a bit better. Anyway, I'm rambling. Okay, everyone. Um, that's it for my Lightroom edit of my Sunstar image. So we'll do our final take here outside. 
thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did then uh, give it a like that really helps out the channel quite a lot and if you didn't like this content please consider subscribing it'd be great to have you on board the channel so until the next time from a beautiful winter's morning in minnesota we will see you soon bye for now Thank you.